Tarantulas are fascinating creatures known for their impressive size and often feared for their venomous bites. But have you ever wondered what makes tarantula venom so potent? In this video, we will explore the scientific facts behind tarantula venom, including how it works, what it contains, and its potential applications. The chelicerae are the mouthparts of the tarantula commonly referred to as jaws. Chelicerae may be shaped as either articulated fangs or similarly to pincers in some arachnid species like Taulus whip scorpions. Some chelicerae, such as those found on nearly all spiders, are hollow and contain venom glands. And these are used to inject venom into prey or a perceived threat. The venom gland itself is made up of a series of lobes and ducts which produce and transport the venom. The venom is stored in a sac located at the base of the fangs and when the tarantula bites, the venom is forced through the fangs and into the target. Tarantula venom is a complex mixture of different compounds, including enzymes, peptides and other molecules. These compounds work together to create the toxic effects of the venom. One of the most well-known components of tarantula venom is a type of peptide called a spider toxin. These toxins are small proteins that combine to specific channels or receptors in the body causing a variety of effects. For example, some spider toxins can block the transmission of nerve signals leading to paralysis or death. Tarantula venom also contains enzymes that can break down tissues and disrupt normal physiological processes. These enzymes can help the venom to spread through the body and cause damage to multiple systems. Tarantula venom can have a variety of effects on the body, depending on the specific compounds in the venom and the target organism. In general, tarantula venom works by disrupting normal cellular functions and causing damage to tissues. For example, some tarantula toxins can bind to ion channels in the body, preventing them from functioning properly. This can lead to muscle paralysis or other neurological effects. Other tarantula toxins can break down cell membranes leading to cell death and tissue damage. Some toxins can also interfere with blood clotting or cause inflammation leading to further damage. Despite its potential dangers, tarantula venom has also shown promise as a source of new drugs and treatments for human diseases. Researchers have identified several compounds in tarantula venom that could be used to treat conditions such as chronic pain, heart disease and cancer. One example is a tarantula toxin called GSNTX4 which has been shown to block iron channels involved in chronic pain. This toxin could potentially be used to develop new pain medications that are more effective and have fewer side effects than current treatments. Another example is a peptide found in tarantula venom called PESX. This peptide has been shown to inhibit the growth of cancer cells in vitro, suggesting that it could be a potential treatment for cancer. In conclusion, tarantula venom is a complex mixture of different compounds that work together to create its toxic effects. While it can be harmful but not deadly to humans, it does have potential medical applications that could lead to new treatments for a variety of diseases. 
As researchers continue to study tarantula venom, we may uncover even more potential uses for this fascinating substance. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Also consider watching other videos in my documentary series. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.